Hi, this is probably going to end up a bit of a, a video series on the uh, Quadra Innovato, have you pronounce it? It's a, well, some people are claiming it's a Raspberry Pi killer, but I think it's probably a bit of a Raspberry Pi alternate. It's quite cheap, cheaper than a Raspberry Pi, and the biggest thing, it's actually available at the moment, within reason anyway. So we go to their uh, website. The biggest catch here is if you look up here, they're only uh, shipping in the US and Canada at the moment, so we sort of counts the rest of the world, including uh, VK land out of it at the moment for the uh, for their branded one anyway. Whoever you look, do look in here, they do say you can build your own. If you click on that link, it gives you a list of well, essentially uh, Android uh, compatible TV boxes for uh, streaming services etc and on here the uh, T95 Mini is uh, one that they suggest is a compatible hardware with an asterisk down the bottom here about you know the even though it's branded and model numbered that with all the Chinese clones and stuff doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be uh, the correct hardware I guess inside so there's a bit of a buyer beware, but I uh, purchased one of these, the T95 Mini. Obviously, it came from uh, the US for $29.99 American, which I think with the freight it ended up costing about $50 Australian, which is still cheaper than the uh, Raspberry Pis if you can get one. So anyway, I, uh, I purchased or ordered one, which has arrived, so it's going to uh, try and get it going. We'll uh, sort of go through the whole process uh, and learn as we go, I guess. So well, we've got, got uh, quite step-by-step -step instructions on this website. There's a couple of things you're going to need. Is the uh, Bolina Etcher program to, to write the firmware to the SD card and also the firmware itself which on their uh, website about building your own there's a uh, link to the firmware I don't know that they've got any uh, versions available other than current so I'm not sure whether you, you click in this in 12 months time it's still going to say current but yeah We'll uh, download that anyway, so we'll follow along with it. About 1.8 gigabytes. So on our uh, NBN, yeah, it's only getting about 30 or 40 megabit downloads. It's <laughs> nothing flash, so uh, we'll uh, fast forward this bit and we'll get back. Actually, what we might do is go back and we'll download the etcher program get it underway as well just uh, obviously you get your the version you want for the mac o os or the linux i'm running windows 64-bit uh, might even go for the uh, portable version so you don't have to worry about installing it and you're making it shift your furniture around all the rest of the stuff it does now what do we got here 125 meg looks like it's a quite a throttled link at 125 yeah, about 10 minutes on that one <laughs> yeah it's only running quite slow at 70 or 80 kb seconds but this one's still running it'll drop the 4.8 3.8, 3.9. But anyway, we'll uh, fast forward and get to uh, writing the SD card image. One of the other things you do require for uh, the firmware is an SD card. I think they say about a 16 gigabyte 
uh, SD card is enough for the uh, firmware for these 32 gigs were relatively cheap the other day so that's what I ended up, what I ended up with so we'll, obviously it is a micro SD which uh, is what is required for this little sucker I still haven't opened it so uh, hopefully it, it is uh, in the box won't worry about uh, filming opening it but we'll uh, get it out and see hopefully uh, we've got all the bits we need okay everything seemed like it uh, is in the box they supply a uh, HDMI cable doesn't feel too bad not uh, overly cheap I guess for uh, $30 US it's not uh, too bad feels quite sturdy fairly thick don't know about shielding in it but it's uh, besides the point the unit itself is uh, very compact got a uh, USB 3 no, yes, USB 3 on the side as well as the uh, AV out I'm assuming HDMI out, Ethernet port a USB 2 and a uh, 5 volt barrel connector for uh, powering it and obviously I knew coming from America it was going to have the uh, American plug they actually do sort of fit but I wouldn't recommend it doing it it's about the only difference is uh, the Australian plug's a bit of an angle and they have an earth generally but it's just a 5 volt adapter which is uh, readily available we've got hundreds of them laying around now even to the point I think most phone makers have uh, stopped uh, supplying them with the new phones and of course the remote which I don't think we'll be using obviously for the, the uh, TV side of it for the Android TV box haven't turned it on so I don't even know what it, uh, how well it works or if it is going to work I probably should try it before I turn it on but we'll see uh, how we go see if I don't uh, brick the thing before I uh, get going you know, yeah, the other one I forgot is the SD card slot which is pretty important to do the, the firmware update or change rather than update I guess but we'll uh, get things sorted and fire up and see what happens ok download's done so first we'll do all the unzip this firmware we'll let it uh, do its thing and of course uh, etcher I downloaded the portable version so it, it doesn't need to be installed you just need to uh, run that one ok it's finished unzipping so next we just write it to the SD card with etcher just drag and drop onto there where the SD card is installed in the computer then we uh, just flash it just wait for it to, to do its thing it's flashing now so it, let's say about ETA of two minutes so we'll uh, do a bit of uh, fast forwarding again unless you particularly want to sit there watch a progress bar Just going through the validating process now to confirm it's been uh, written correctly. I think you do have the option of uh, writing without a confirmation. You take the risk, or well, you can actually skip it if you really want to. Take the risk that it's uh, written correctly. I will let it run through the validation. You don't particularly want to brick the unit.
and we're done so we can close that one close that one we'll eject it it already has ejected it which is good it has finished uh, writing totally so we'll remove it from the computer and on step two as you can see it's basically just stick it into the uh, the Android box now turn the thing on without plugging in a uh, HDMI cable just put the SD card in plug it into power and wait for it so they can take up to uh, quite a while 7 to 30 minutes for it to uh, do the uh, firmware upgrade and hopefully we uh, end up with a, a working unit rather than a uh, bricked unit so we'll leave it at that for this one so it's not too long a video and I'll uh, get organized in the next few days or so I'll uh, get in a position where I can record what goes on and get a radio ready to uh, plug it in so we can get the uh, thing working so uh, thanks again